Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Stellar Development Foundation's webinar announcing the launch of the MoneyGram Award Program. I'm Mihan, Director of Events at SDF, and uh, I'll be your host today. You will hear from SDF Strategic Partnerships Manager, Tom Karen Levitt, and MoneyGram's Marketing Lead, Mike Fletcher, about the launch of this new program for fintechs and wallets interested in scaling up on Stellar via MoneyGram Access. You're going to learn about what it is and how approved wallets and fintechs are eligible to receive up to $50,000 for marketing support. Uh, we also have some time at the end of the presentation for questions, so feel free to submit your questions to the speakers throughout the presentation in the Q&A tab in your toolbar, and we'll try to answer as many as possible. With that, I'll hand it over to Tom. Thanks, me. Uh, super excited to be connecting here with Mike today to announce the launch of this new program. Uh, before doing that, though, I think it'd probably be a good idea just to talk a little bit about what we're doing with MoneyGram more broadly uh, for anyone on the line who might be unfamiliar with what we're doing uh, in our partnership that launched just over a year ago. Um, we partnered with MoneyGram back in June of last year uh, to turn their 300,000 agent locations around the world, uh, which runs it through about 180 countries and territories into physical cash to crypto and crypto to crash on and off ramps uh, for unbanked users around the world. With this program, we've seen participating wallets, exchanges, and fintech applications enable a ton of use, different use cases. Uh, most commonly, we've seen non-custodial wallets use this to break into new geographies. Uh, we've seen custodial wallets use this to strengthen their existing rails and add new rails in the markets in which they already operate. And we've seen both add a ton of new use cases that might not have otherwise been possible. Those range from international aid delivery to cross-border payments and remittances to crypto by sell to uh, US dollar pegged uh, assets as a hedge against inflation. Um, but all of those use cases generally will get back to our overarching mandate, which is uh, opening up financial access to folks who might not otherwise have it. In general, the use case that I personally am most excited about is the journey of someone in Kenya or Argentina or the States or anywhere else really, who has always wanted to get into digital assets and get access to the use cases they enable, uh, who can now take their Kenyan shilling, their Argentinian peso or their US dollar, or again, any other asset, um, take it in from under their mattress into a participating MoneyGram location, and then get that asset in their digital wallet in the form of Stellar USDC. To jump a bit more into the specifics of the integration, again, for anyone not familiar, uh, this is powered via Stellar's on and off-ramp API, SEP24, and the settlement asset for this transaction is Stellar USDC. Stellar USDC is front-ended a bit in the flow. Uh, so your users will see uh, USDC, as you can see up on the screen here, for the cash in and for the cash out, but we don't always expect it to be the destination asset. Uh, we consider this a cash to crypto play rather than a cash to Stellar USDC play. I also commented briefly on kind of the different use cases for custodial and non-custodial wallets. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that there are different onboarding paths for both. Uh, custodial wallets are required to be licensed in the jurisdictions in which they operate this product. Uh, Non-custodial wallets do not share that requirement. Um, and then I'd also call out that the KYC is collected by MoneyGram via an in-app web view, but we get questions all the time about this. Uh, if your user has already submitted KYC once, uh, it will pre-populate going forward, so it should be a really seamless user experience. With that, I will stop talking and I'll kick it over to Mike uh, to announce not one but two exciting things today. Uh, the next slide is going to immediately give away the first thing, but Mike, I'll let you run with it. Thanks, Tom. Really pleased to be with everybody at Stellar and all the folks on the call today. There are announced no fees through June of 2024. We are waiving all consumer on-off ramp fees. And then secondly, wallets can now charge a fee and they have the opportunity to directly monetize the on-off rails. We're excited about this opportunity. We think it's a game changer. We think it gives you an opportunity that you haven't had before. We're happy to introduce it through June of 2024. So what is the MoneyGram Access Awards Program? This is a fast-paced open application awards program that allows wallets such as yours to apply for, integrate with, and connect with MoneyGram Access. Under this program, approved wallets and fintechs have the opportunity to receive up to $50,000 for marketing support. So what does that support look like? 
On the next slide, you can see there are various ways in which the award funds can be used. You can use them for paid digital media, such as Google Ads, offline marketing, such as live events, PR or communication support, even in-app incentives that encourage your customers to refer others or to take in-app activities that drive transactions. Awards are not supported by things such as speculation or wash trading. Certainly those are things we'd want to avoid. We look forward to hearing from many of you about the creative options and the creative ways that you'll use the marketing awards. And Mike, before I jump into the next slide, I'm curious if you can share kind of the marketing campaigns that you're most excited about, or maybe some successes uh, of past wallets that have already started marketing MoneyGram Access. Absolutely. Well, we've worked very well with both Lobster and Vibrant, both of, two of whom have driven downloads and installs through awareness campaigns, primarily through a variety of upper funnel communication tools and digital media tools, such as Google Ads, Meta. They've also executed a number of new creative top of funnel campaign elements, including digital out of home. PR and communication support is an option as well. And there's opportunities to drive transactions through in-app activities. So we look forward to seeing some of that activity from future wallets. We have one wallet who's already submitted their request and have included both in-app incentives and live event support as part of their campaign metrics. Mike, maybe you could give an example of one potential in-app incentive. Sorry, say it one more time. Do you mind giving an example of a type of in-app incentive oh, that Wallace do? Absolutely. So the one that we are looking at now is for every $50 USDC cash in via MoneyGram, they will deposit 20 USDC in the consumer's wallet. In this way, you're rewarding the consumer for taking a physical transaction with a digital reward. And I just got a question in the chat. I had promised me that I would not steal any of these uh, until the question and a window. Um, but I do think it's kind of relevant while we're on this screen. We got a question here around the word offline uh, for offline marketing and live events. Uh, does that mean that uh, participating wallets can't do online events uh, with the funds from this? Oh, you can absolutely do both. And we'll freely evaluate those to make sure that you guys are optimizing what's right for your target audience. If an online audience is best suited, fantastic. If an offline audience is best targeted, great. We'll consider that as part of the entire submission. Awesome, thanks Mike. Yep. So there are four phases and we can go through them, although I don't think I'll go into complete detail of every single one of them. But the first phase is submission phase. Obviously you wanna submit your proposals to MoneyGram. Um, part two is the review and selection phase. We'll take a couple of weeks. Both SDF and MoneyGram teams will evaluate the submissions in collaboration. The review committee can take time to even reach out and ask clarifying questions. So don't be surprised if that occurs. There'll be up to five submissions that will move forward each quarter through June of 2024. The commercial phase is when the five selected wallets begin to move forward with commercial onboarding with MoneyGram. So this will include full compliance review and submissions and it'll culminate in an executed agreement with MoneyGram. And the technical phase is when you'll do the complete technical integration with MoneyGram access. You must complete that vendor approval and compliance process with MoneyGram in order to receive the marketing award dollars. There are a number of eligibility requirements at the bottom including successful launch of MoneyGram access, delivery and approval of ongoing testing. You have to have use by 100 unique users, not affiliated with the participant, and delivery and approval of a full marketing project plan. And I will just quickly comment because a couple of these requirements are new. Um, so if you've already integrated with MoneyGram access, this might be the first time you're seeing them. Um, so it's worth expanding a little bit. Uh, the ongoing testing plan is a new kind of requirement that we're rolling out for wallets under this program. Simply put, uh, we want to make sure that wallets have a plan in place to make sure that our user experience remains consistent throughout the integration being live. Um, and the use by 100 unique users is simply just a test to make sure that it works uh, rather than in any you know, major bar that we expect wallets to run to. 
Uh, the other one that's new is kind of the obviously delivery and approval of the full marketing project plan. Uh, since that's new, Mike, I'm wondering if I can put you on the spot here a little bit and have you share a little bit about what you're looking for in marketing project plans. Sure. So we're looking for a marketing project plan that takes into consideration the wallet's understanding of their own consumers, how they use the wallet, where they use the wallet, under what circumstances they want to use the wallet, and how MoneyGram can be an important and critical part to their success. So when marketing to these audiences, you may choose to go wholly digital, or you may opt to go through live activations where you interact with consumers face-to-face. -face. MoneyGram is not going to position one above the other. We also want to make sure that there's someone on board who has a firm understanding of marketing principles and how to approach your consumer with effective tools. We'll also evaluate your effectiveness. So we want to make sure that the tools that you select are going to effectively engage that audience and be a wise use of the funds that we're providing. And then again, I'm going to break my promise to me. We did get a question in the chat that I think is worth asking here. Uh, the unique users, uh, the question is, uh, is unique users, is that users of the wallet in general or the MoneyGram access functionality? It is the latter. Uh, it's unique users of MoneyGram access via the wallet. Yep. We'll be curious to understand if there's significant differences between existing users of the wallets and those who use the MoneyGram access cash rails for on and off cash, um, uh, cash on and cash off. It'd be interesting to know if there is a significant difference between those consumers and whether or not your media needs to be different to reach that audience. Um, we have not seen significant differences between consumers as of it. It's not that one, say, is a cryptocurrency savvy consumer and then the people who are using MoneyGram are not, or maybe they're remittance only. Um, but we'll be curious to see what you come back with and how well you know your consumers. And then we'll be evaluating your approach to reaching them. Great. So the next slide talks about some of the considerations that MoneyGram and Stellar will take when evaluating um, the proposals from the wallets. Obviously, we'll want to make sure there's some high level fit, including use case feasibility and audience benefit. Capabilities assessment will include things like understanding the team's capabilities, experiences, and understanding the existing wallet UX. Submission details are important. Don't leave anything blank or missing. There's a way and opportunity to ask questions as you complete the form and making sure that there's no comp potential compliance or regulatory risks or challenges. For the marketing project plan, we'll be assessing the team's expertise, your support network, your agency relationships, and the capabilities overall for the team leadership. On user testing, we'll want to better understand the development process, your experience, and the support required to complete. And Mike, can I ask on the marketing project plan, um, if I am a wallet that is interested in this program, but I don't have an existing agency, or maybe I don't have an existing uh, major marketing function and team, would I still be eligible here for this program? You are, absolutely. And there are additional resources through MoneyGram that can be tapped in, including both agency and creative resources that we can tap for you to help you execute your plan and program. Great. So this last slide is the program timeline. Submissions for the first MoneyGram Awards are due on August 16th, 2023. There will be subsequent programs that are run quarterly. The submissions are due on the first day of each quarter. If you're interested, you want to express interest, start the application process today, fill out a request. The information is all clickable via the slide. It will also be sent to you. For questions, you can also email us at access at moneygram.com. And one more question for me, Mike, before sure. we jump into the full Q&A window. Um, I've seen a couple of companies reach out saying, hey, we're already either halfway through our integration with MoneyGram Access or we're already live with MoneyGram Access. Would we be eligible for a program like this? So at this time, if we're working with you, uh, you would be ineligible for the program. We'll continue to support you as you go through the process. You can resubmit perhaps at a later date. And we look forward to hearing from you and understanding what your new needs are beyond which we're already covering. Great.
And I think that that is it for our, sort of the formal content of this page. Me, I will kick it over to you to do some Q&A. Yeah, well, thank you, uh, Tom and Mike, for running for this um, exciting pr new program. Uh, we have a few questions. Um, Someone asked, can existing integrations also participate with the 50K marketing grant? So I think we just, we answered that question about existing integrations. Um, if you are interested, please contact us so we can discuss what the new initiatives are and how we can best serve you. Um, someone said, when you say full compliance for custodial wallet, does this mean that the company or the firm developing the wallet needs also to be a registered entity? Registration here meaning everything required required as, say, a neobank. So in general, uh, custodial wallets will need to uh, comply with whatever the regulations are in the countries in which they're operating the service. Uh, so that could be everything from a virtual asset service provider license in the markets where such licenses exist uh, to a license to custody user funds to a license to allow crypto buy sell. Um, it will be, as you can imagine, pretty country by country because the regulations are. Uh, but broadly, the rule of thumb is if you are custodial, you need to comply with whatever you are required to comply with to operate in the markets in which you want to use this. Great. And another question, what metrics, uh, what metrics does a wallet app need to satisfy um, to have access to MoneyGram in their wallet app? Oh, this is a, not a fair question. Yeah, what? Sorry, I'm not sure if that's talking about if, if those wallets that um, are typically smaller in size, uh, 50,000 MAUs or smaller, with typically the ones that we would uh, like to see participating in this program. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the exact question that you're asking. So if there's a follow-up that you'd like to put in the Q&A in the toolbar, we can answer that uh, later in the chat. Another question, what stage should wallets be in to have a good chance to be selected? So ideally, uh, we're considering this for earlier stage wallets. Um, so in general, you would have some sort of market presence already. You would have an existing user base, um, although it can be a small existing user base. Really, the purpose of this program is to uh, find a path to wallets uh, rapidly scaling uh, their own user base via the marketing awards. So uh, I would say if you have 50 million users, this probably isn't the right program for you. Uh, if you have 50,000 users, this is a great program for you. If you have 5,000 users, this is a great program for you. Thank you. And um, is this the new and official way of getting MoneyGram support? Also, what if you are halfway with the integration? So this is the official way for getting support for new applicants to the program. Um, no change to companies that are halfway through the integration or already onboarding. And is this a competition or will all applications that fill the requirement get access to the program? Yeah, I would think of this as a competition. We will only be taking five each quarter. So uh, obviously we want to take the top five. We'd like them all to be a little bit different and we imagine that they will be. We hope that you guys have a keen sense of your consumers. And so we look forward to seeing innovative and different marketing plans. Another question, can we use part of the award to hire a partner marketing agency? Yes, marketing agency fees can be a part of your marketing award submission. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of questions coming in. Um, which time frame is suggested for the implementation of the marketing plan and actions? So that will depend on the tools that you'll be using to target your audience. Um, with a 50K budget, there will be probably limits into basically the how fast you'll run rate through that money, depending on the tools that you'll be using. If you do a full digital media buy, you might find a $50,000 goes after a couple of months. But if you're doing live activations, you may be able to schedule six of them and have each one of them cost you less than 10K. So it really depends on the tools that you're using, um, but you don't have to complete your marketing um, plan um, within a certain time period. Great. Um, and one final question. Um, 
In the previous awards, what are the most common choke points or mistakes that caused companies not to be eligible with the steps you've shown in the application process? Any companies we should look at as a model for integrating with you guys? Um, from a marketing standpoint, we haven't run into too many hurdles, um, but we have seen partners pivot or be forced to pivot because they're not seeing necessarily what they thought they would see from the marketing campaign, or they may change um, to focus more on um, transactions versus driving awareness. So a pivot like that can occur. You can change your plans um, and we'll continue to support you through those transitions. Well, that was the last question. Thank you, Tom and Mike. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today and for all the great questions. Um, we will be sharing this uh, webinar on our YouTube and also we'll be sending this presentation um, after, the, after the webinar. So check your we'll inbox. Call out in closing. Uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like any more information here, the email to reach out to is access at moneygram.com.